our coverage with a free account on privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Good. Yeah, good. Okay, Very good. good morning. I'm Don Bain. Good morning. I'm Sophie Lau. How are you, sir? Not too bad. And what company are you with? Uh, I work for Davenci. I happen to be the CEO of Davenci. We, we have are a CEO with us today. This is good. I wear a new shirt, so I'm all set for you. Yeah, let's see. So tell <laughs> so me happy about to be the, here. Pardon me? You're happy to be here? I'm happy oh, yeah. to have you here. I'm delighted. Thank you. So Thank tell you. us about your company. Well, the company is the so-called Web3 Financial Services Company. So it is not to say that we're the bank of tomorrow and we're the future of banking, basically. Okay. So we have, uh, well, we're on the verge of uh, releasing our first product, actually. Well, okay. actually, product. So we're going to hear a first here, folks. This is okay. Right, right. So it's, it's the first product uh, from, uh, uh, you know, built on top of the Davinci platform. We had, uh, we're still running a, uh, an exchange. Okay. Uh, a crypto exchange, basically. Uh, it's called Lot Token. Um, and now we're moving to Web3. Okay. Okay, so... Um, so maybe you want to see it a little bit. I mean, it, it, we're supposed to be a, a, a Web3 financial service company, so running a platform that deals with investment in sustainable projects. Okay. And, um, and well, the, um, there's a very special thing about uh, Davinci is uh, it's built on Web3, so it's actually decentralized infrastructure built on blockchain. Uh, we're not, so we're not building the Web3 infrastructure. It's, it's available to everyone. Correct. Uh, so what we do is we build services, uh, uh, financial services on top of it. So you're dealing primarily with crypto or just all currencies? All or? With everything. I, I can show you a, a demo, actually. Yeah, we're I, don't dealing with I don't know if we have the uh, video of the demo up on queue, so we're not going to be able to see it. If not, no. No. Okay. No problem. Okay. Well, we'll talk <laughs> to right. it. So, so we can talk about it, yeah. So so the platform itself is actually has three components. Okay. One is a CFI, DeFi aggregator. It means we can get connected to your account on a centralized exchange. Okay. And also to certain bank accounts as well. Okay. And at the same time, you'll be able to have your own uh, view of uh, your Web3 wallet. Okay, and this is all encrypted and secure, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so it's, not, it's not just about crypto. Crypto is, is really just about cryptocurrencies, but we also handle NFTs um, and, um, you know, uh, STOs as well. I mean, that's the equivalent of, uh, of stocks Correct. Uh, on the blockchain. So uh, tell me about the first product. Who, who is that going to be accessible to? Well... We, uh, uh, we're planning on uh, targeting uh, the high net worth and the B2Bs. What would you consider high net worth? High net worth is above, I mean, people would be ready to put on our platform uh, asset under management of about 100,000 uh, 100, uh, US dollars. Okay. And the advantages of, ta of using your service opposed to the typical banking? Well, tip well if, what there, if there's such a word... Web3 is a game changer, actually. So um, we have what we call non-custodial solution for, for, for your data. So we don't even own your data. You don't e we don't even own your token. I mean, your money is your money. It stays on a blockchain. So it's safe. transactional. For, for it's transactional. Well, we, we, it's not just about transaction. I mean, you can, of course, remittance is part of what our, our capabilities. But we also do things like loans as well. Uh, so loans that can be syndicated by uh, multiple uh, lenders. Uh, so we're taking advantage of the, the Web3 uh, ecosystem, if you will. Okay. There's not many companies that are doing that yet. I think that's going to be a big and up-and-coming event, if you will. Well, yes. Uh, but the thing is, uh, you have uh, like, like two um, type of, uh, of, of uh, uh, players you know, on the industry. And so the companies you were talking about, so many companies, we have many competitors, per se. Uh, okay. Oh, and also, the, 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 the traditional bank industry is also... Um, heading towards uh, Web3 as well. They don't have a choice. A of investments. So, yeah, insurance. They don't have a choice. Talk to me about NFTs. Where do you see that developing? You see that as a big market? It, well, for now, it's still uh, in its infancy, let's say. Uh, so it's still, you know, um, kind of a... I, I wouldn't say it's useless, but it's equivalent of, a, of a, an art piece you, you want to buy. Uh, but it would extend to, to other things like music and, and especially um, uh, identity management as well, which is a, a something that we want to see in our, uh, you know, uh, operational, you know, in, even on our platform, we're managing identities through NFTs. Okay, here's another question for you. Where do you see crypto going? Uh, that's really a, an interesting, uh, uh, how shall I say, phenomenon, uh, at least in my experience with it. Uh, right. I'd, I'd love to know what, what, what's going on in your brain. Tell me, tell me what your thoughts are on that. 
Um, I thought you could be honest because uh, yeah, sure, sure, and yeah. especially you know uh, further to the the demise of FTX recently, you heard yeah, about it. Yeah, exactly. And also the Luna thing. I mean, those are are not things that makes you know crypto um, you know <laughs> a, a good reputation. Yes. But anyway, I mean, it's still, I mean, the the technology itself is still very promising, uh, and so far, I mean, blockchain hasn't been hacked so far. I mean, wallets have been hacked because yes, of, they have. Yeah. You, I mean, you lost your password. I mean, someone gets into your computer and you store your password on your computer. That's it. But basically, technically, the blockchain is still is still uh, the safest thing you, you can have in terms of uh, 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 data storage. So, do you think crypto at, at some point in time is going to be the a quote world currency and the only currency? Oh, I don't think so. No. Uh, well, the world will look very different from today. I mean, today we have fiat currencies, which is actually you know, governmental currencies, let's say, and uh, the reason they have a value is just because of the trust we have uh, you know, in, in the governments and, and in the nations, right? No, you have a trust in the government, go ahead. Well, I do, I do, I do a bit, but uh, you know, like, it, it's kind of opaque in a way, like you can't see really what they do, like uh, you know, monetary policies and everything, nobody understands that, right? Uh, why, it, why is that we have so, 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 you know, inflation is so high today? I mean, we don't know all of that, I mean, we're not. I was hoping you were gonna tell me. Oh, well, actually, well, I, I know the underlying mechanism behind the scenes, but uh, what, what I'm saying is it, it's not really accessible in terms of understanding, I mean, the way it works, right? Uh, Bitcoin, for example, is, is, is actually governed by mathematics. So there's no human beings behind. Okay, so in terms of monetary policies, they will not, they will, won't be any arbitrary choices or arbitrary options or decisions uh, that will actually make the, the whole economy collapse or... Um, you know, so 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 basically, what I'm saying is, is, is blockchain is really is, is more transparent, let's say, than any currency you, you could have. And the other thing is, um, I don't believe in just one currency, even cryptocurrency, for the whole world. I mean, the, the That's world. That's interesting. Look, okay, go when ahead. I, when I said I'll, it, lo it would look different, is if you have a look at it, I mean, you would have pretty much one currency per service you want to use. So the world of crypto is different. So it, it's cross countries. But then you would have like a, a, a certain cryptocurrency for lending, so, so cryptocurrencies for insurance, cryptocurrencies for identity, uh, for program uh, running programs, uh, just such as Ethereum. Uh, so if you take a look at it, I mean, you would have your favorite portfolio of cryptocurrency depending on your lifestyle, depending wow. on the, the the usage of the service or, or another. That's so, pretty interesting. Yeah. So that would be cross country, of course, but they won't be in just one right. uh, main currency. Never thought of it that way. That's pretty interesting. So, because the, the world in the world of cryptocurrencies, uh, I mean, the, the cryptocurrencies will look like mini nations or mini economy in a way. So it would be cross country, but it's it's the way I can I can see you know uh, the, the future. Okay. Of the world. So, getting specifically back to your product, if I had a, uh, you said a hundred thousand dollars is what's going to open up an account. Can I open up an account with your with your group today? Sure. I okay. Mean, and how how would they how would I do that? Okay, so uh, so what you do, you would you would go through the same, uh, pretty much uh, the same process as uh, you would go for with the bank, right? But uh, your bank account will actually be not something we we would be we would have in custody, right? Right. It would be your account that is managed on the blockchain, and we just create mechanism for you to retrieve your password in a, in a safe way. Uh, th so that's one, so the same process. So and, and the most important thing about it is when I say same process uh, as banking. I mean you have to show your identity, of course, and of everything, course. right? Okay. So we do the same because we're regulated. I mean, some people would say Web three can't be regulated because it's all decentralized. You don't have one specific entity you can you can sue in case of problem. Uh, that's not totally true. I mean, we are a regulated entity. We're regulated in France, by the way. And we're running Web3, meaning that our services are, uh, must be uh, regulated. So in a way, our clients need to be known to uh, the governance. Uh, that's a no-brainer. Uh, but we keep their data safe in such a way that uh, it's, it's, it's actually persistent on the blockchain and it's safe on the blockchain and nobody could, as, could access to, to, to your data apart from you. Okay, what other services are you going to be offering? So the first product I was talking about is, is called DV Invest. So it's an investment uh, application. So okay. uh, we actually promoting, not, not only there's a, a specific user experience we want to promote, so that's our signature user experience, like uh, making sure that Web3 is usable. For now, it's not so so much usable, but we have created something that, that is usable, so less fragmented, because you, you have to deal with multiple wallets, multiple blockchain and everything. Right. We make things easier. And the second thing about investment is we are actually promoting uh, uh, investment into uh, sustainable projects. Okay. 
Okay. So we, we, we have actually developed a, uh, an index called uh, the Devancy Impact okay, Index. Okay, so I can not only bank with you, but I basically am going to be investing with you. Yeah. Okay, and what kind of returns typically can one expect? Depends on the, on the strategy and the, and the profile you have. I mean, if you're risk averse or not, depending on your profile of risk. Do I speak to a human being or am I doing this all on, on the web? Is a human going to say, uh, hey, what, what's your lifestyle? What do you do? Ba 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 Right. So actually, you, there are basically three ways to do it. Uh, the first way is to go through um, um, a personalized questionnaire. So you, you, the idea is to profile uh, you uh, as a human being in terms of uh, risk uh, aversion. Uh, and once we uh, define Now, is that done on the profile, web or is that done? Oh, on it's done on the web, okay. yeah. It's done on, all through the, the web app. Uh, the thing is, basically, and, 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 and if you're um, uh, a high net worth and we can see you have a lot of money to put and you want to talk to someone, then people, okay, that's so, somebody will come back to you. Okay. Yeah, so just uh, this is uh, the whole process uh, targets to, you know, uh, aims at um, making sure that we, we're dealing with the, with the person we think you are. Um, uh, in terms that would of be helpful, yeah. Yeah, in terms of profile. Okay. And, and, and basically, I mean, uh, if you're talking about KYC, I mean, th this is what we do now. We, it's all automated, so we're not talking about KYC. It's really talking about, I mean, your profile and the way you want correct. to do things. Correct, correct. It's individualized, individually right, correct. tapered to... Correct. Which correct. it should be. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, are you based at all in the United States or it's all out of France? Yeah, we are actually based in France for okay. now. Uh, we have, we're establishing two affiliates, one in, in Dubai, oh, okay. uh, in the Emirates, and one in Singapore. Okay, so Tru truly are, international. Yeah, 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 just, just like myself. I mean, I, I've been appointed as a, as a CC since July, so this is quite, it's quite fresh. It's not even six months. Oops, but you live in France? I, I live in Dubai myself. Okay, where did you learn such perfect English? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I, I learned English at school. I, I, I studied in, in the U.S. and, and Okay. In, in United England. States is losing the game when it comes to languages. <laughs> they just don't, uh, they don't teach it. They don't reinforce really? it. Yeah. I'm I don't not know. Hap I, but I, I happen to inherit from six languages, like three from my parents, three Asian languages. So I speak no Chinese. Can, uh, can you write it too? Uh, I can read it, most of it. It's tough to write. Well, no, it's just like a drawing. <laughs> it's like a drawing. It's, it's very simple. Like it's, it's very more. I mean, it's more logical than anything you, you can see. Really? Like, oh my God! Yeah, it looks why so complex. Yeah, L and A is L. You know why? I mean, you just draw something that means something. Fascinating. Great. Well, listen. Thank you so much for for coming out. If people wanted more information, and I'm sure there's a lot of people interested in this, where would they go? Uh, they would go. We have two booths. Uh, one okay. is uh, um, next door. It's uh, I think it's booth number uh, six, 61, 200 okay. something. So Davinci. So that's our first booth. Right. And we're running a whole village up uh, up there. Oh, uh, I, I didn't realize that. Right here. I think it's the, it's the one that is close to the uh, Oh, the I'll try to stop dome. by later, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what about on the web if, you know, people who are people are watching this all over the world, where would they go? What's your website? Oh, uh, you go davinci.com. Okay. And if they're interested, they could sign up there and get more information? Uh, we haven't released the product yet. When's it coming uh, out? It's coming in uh, uh, starting Q2 of this year. Okay. And we're, we're, I mean, if, if people are interested, they can come by the, our village, and I'll show a demo today at 1030. Okay. Great. It's a pleasure speaking Thank with you. you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. For okay. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Interesting stuff.